What's up, everybody? It's me, your Uncle Seven Nine, the Spiritual Savage. I'm here to bring you a message, all right? Let's clear out some of this negative energy. It's being blasted around the collective, right? Okay. <laughs> Let me check something here, all right? I hope everybody's having a wonderful evening. It is currently 8.15 uh, p.m. on uh, October 11th, 2024. It's 57 degrees Fahrenheit and clear here. All right, thank you for joining me. All praises to the Most High for uh, bringing us here and uh, allowing us to be on this earth. Even if it's, you know, we know how this goes, but it gets better if you wanted to, okay? I have had a, a group, uh, just a gang of thoughts uh, going around my head today, you know, uh, downloads. So uh, let's just get into this. I'm trying to figure out if I'm just gonna do it like this for now all right but thank you for joining me again all praises to the most high all praises to my beloved ancestors of the highest white divine light okay for being here all right so so much so much here i did a reading um that i i, I don't know something's going on like i've been i'll get a i'll get a download and then i'll pull cards on it or i feel like a download's coming through and then I end up um, kind of pausing and, and, and feeling the need to come back, come back to it. So there's a couple of different things. You know what I might just do? I actually might just, um, okay, it's kind of corny. I might just actually, um, all right, I might just actually upload them. Maybe I'll do them back to back, like stitch them together. Very valuable information. Um, and I feel like it needs to go out. So. We'll see. Um, but there's just been a lot um, going on in the collective energy. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just weird. It's not. You know what? Let me let me stop saying it's weird. It's not weird. Um, it's expected. It's expected. You know what I'm saying? It is definitely expected here. Uh, snakes, like snakes, 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 snakes. Spirit wants me to say there's snakes in the grass. All right. As if we don't have enough of those. Damn. Snakes in the grass. They're always there, I suppose. You know, the it's when you really when you really take a step back, every I want everybody to take a step back and just think for a quick moment. When you consider people uh, in your life that have uh, come against you or have plotted against you or have flipped the script on you or just started to really kind of not like you, consider why. I mean, it's always something very, but well, to, to us, it's petty. Let's say to us, it's petty. You know, it's over, it's usually something that they're envious of, jealous of. Um, you said something they didn't like, you don't agree with everything that they say, or you don't ride along with, uh, you know, this, this uh, crash test dummy of a ride they want you to ride with them on, you know, taking a ride definitely into nowhere or going towards nothing. People are offended by that. People are offended by the fact that you grow and you, you branch off and do, go do your own thing as if for children. Sometimes people just don't like who you are, yet they remain in your face or yet they remain or pretend like they like you for whatever reason. Generally speaking, it's because they're, they're, they're energy vampires. They're, they're, they're narcissists. A lot of we're surrounded by a lot of narcissistic people. And by any means, I'm not a doctor, so I can't really diagnose any don't diagnose anyone uh, as being a narcissistic, but we all know what the qualities are. We all know what the characteristics are, the traits of a narcissist. We've dealt with enough of them. You feel me? Yet they still persist because narcissists don't even believe that they have a problem. You or I am their problem all the time. The whole world is their problem, not them. So it's really kind of, you know, dealing with narcissistic people and going back and forth with them is, is very fruit. It's very fruitless. It's very futile. They have absolutely no way of understanding uh, or understanding that they are the problem. Everything and everyone else is. They don't see a problem with anything that they do. And if they do, you know, admit to, you know, that they were wrong or the way that they they put it, well, I, I might have been wrong or I was only wrong because you, you know, they can never be fully accountable for anything in their life. So narcissists will, will go about their days in a lot of different ways to prove points. They'll lie. They'll, they'll scheme, they'll cheat, they'll even kill. You feel me? 
They'll do a whole lot of things that most of us would immediately talk ourselves out of doing, but they don't see anything wrong with that. They don't see right or wrong in this world. A lot of narcissists will tell you that. They don't really believe in right or wrong. Right or wrong doesn't exist in this world. Yes, it does. We all know this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wrote something here. I've been hearing a lot about, you know, people that are in the collective energy. So, oh yeah, but think about, just consider the, the, the reasons why people come against you, the reasons why people do what they do. If you have spiritual gifts, you have people that come along and say they want to debunk you. They want to say that your gifts aren't real. They want to call you a fake. These are people that are in competition with you. Because trust and believe, my thought is this. There are a lot of religious whack jobs that come across tarot channels and want to just pick with tarot because that's just what they're here to do. But overall, uh, people that come to tarot channels or talk about tarot card readers or people who are people who, you know, uh, claim to have psychic or clairvoyant abilities and people that come across your, the, your channel or your page or in person and they try to ridicule you. They try to, uh, you know, try to try to uh, un undermine uh, who you know yourself to be or you know undermine what you know your true you truly what your divine gifts are these are people that are jealous of that or are in competition with you or want to be the top dog the king of the hill the the, the hierophant everywhere they go they want to be the foremost authority the foremost psychic the foremost tarot card reader the foremost clairvoyant the foremost reiki healer they want to be the foremost healer in this world or the divine being, the light being, the light worker. They want to be the chosen one. They want to ha they want to be all these high vibrational things. And when they see other high vibrational beings, what do they do? They immediately go into, well, I got to take them down a notch. I got to undercut them because they don't know what they're doing. I know what I'm doing. They want to they want to pick you apart. They want to uh, dissect everything you do to find flaws in everything that you do and I and I wrote something here so I'm gonna read it you feel me do I need my glasses for this probably so all right so let's start let's it's, it's not it's not even very long okay this is what this is this is what came to me all right so if I if I stumble over words, it's because I was gonna rewrite it, but I'm just going with the flow of the energy that I'm that I have right now. Uh, let me just get some spray some Florida water, okay? Once again, thank you for joining me this evening. All right. So the real gift isn't being clairvoyant, isn't being psychic, clairvoyant, or the ability to get to read cards. That's not the real gift, okay? The, it is a gift of being able to make genuine connections and lead with love. The gift of being able to heal yourself and others through honest communications and the ability to not only hear what someone is saying, but to actually listen, to actually listen to them, to actually empathize with them, to care about, uh, to care about them with little to no forced effort. The gift of being intentional every day to do good things in this world. Not going about the day being selfish. Not going about the day uh, seeking the next opportunity to destroy shit for, pe for people, for others. The true spiritual gift is being able to still love after experiencing so much hatred. I suppose as common as, that, as these spiritual gifts may seem, not everyone possesses them. They just don't. You know, a lot of these people, and I'm going to go on, while people are working very diligently, uh, you know, very working very hard, reading books, watching instructional videos, and, and Googling uh, how to become a high priestess or a tarot card reader or magic, because they want to be the best tarot card reader. They want to be the best spiritualist. While they were doing all this work to trump you, they weren't doing any work to heal themselves or to love themselves, to face their demons and to do the shadow work. They were too busy worried about trumping you. 
you get a lot of people who believe that again being able to being a spiritual being is not about fucking reading tarot cards about predicting the future about being a star see that's that's not these are labels these are these are these are skills these are skills and so what am i telling you is that a lot of people that have a lot to say about you and your gifts or who you are as a person these are people that had to learn how to do what you naturally can do you feel me we aren't here to learn tarot okay we are here to learn to love ourselves and heal ourselves and then love others and help them heal as well we are here to learn and grow not learn ways to stunt the growth of others the love vibration is how you truly tap into the God slash, uh, slash Christ consciousness so that you know how you can use these gifts to discern the importance of having psychic abilities. A lot of people, they don't get it. They don't get it. The true gift is the true gift of being a spiritual being uh, to possess spiritual gifts, psychic abilities, clairvoyant abilities is being able to know how to use those gifts with the intention of love. <clears throat> I didn't pick up a deck of tarot cards <clears throat> to come online and make money. I didn't pick up a deck of tarot cards. I don't, I don't, I don't claim as an, and as a matter of fact, I really kind of kept the fact that I was even clairvoyant um, to myself for a long time. I didn't tell everybody that I, you know, had psychic visions or that I had prophetic dreams or that I could read energy. I never really kind of told people that. I kept it to myself. And when I picked up my first, when I ordered my first deck of tarot cards and I received them, I, you know, I, I did, you know, I did learn how I read the book and I, you know, watched some things online. But what I learned is that all of it is intuitive. But you got a lot of people out here that claim to be very spiritual. They have the nerve to open up their mouth and say shit about you or me. And these people had to really pick up books and read. These are muggles. These are people that had to learn to be magical, to learn to be spiritual, to learn to be clairvoyant. These people had to pick up books to learn how to be spiritual, just to trump other people or to do it because it's trendy. And they don't have a spiritual bone in their body because they don't know how to love themselves or anyone else. These people are truly unhealed, yet they walk around talking about how spiritual they are, how connected they are, how tapped in they are. A true tapped in person, a person that's tapped into God or Christ consciousness, that love vibration, doesn't walk around slandering other people or competing with other people. We don't do that. We understand the fact that it is important for us to heal ourselves, to love ourselves, to break these curse, these generational curses, to remove ourselves from traumatic experiences in partnerships and in friendships with people, to, to position ourselves to be in a better place for the next day or the next moment. We don't have time for that. So what happens now is this, okay? Because there's a lot of us in the collective energy that I'm picking up on here that continue to keep dealing with these kinds of people. Well, the fact of the matter is collective, family, soul tribe family, these people aren't going anywhere. As a matter of fact, they're probably multiplying like fucking gremlins after midnight, every night. There's always a new batch of them coming around because they can be easily reproduced. We can't, okay? These motherfuckers are some NPCs. They're clones. These are empty vessels that demons jump in and out of every day like hookers jump out of John's cars, ins and out of John's cars. I'm telling you, that's what it is. These people are, 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 are spiritual, demonic, demonic, vessels, uh, demonic vessels for whores or demonic whore vessels. You know what the fuck I'm saying. These, these demons use these people as vessels in and out of them all day long. And these demons have the most fun with these people. They make these people believe all this shit. They give these people these great ideas to come and harass this chosen person, to, 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 to pretend to be this kind of great guy or great gal, to maintain some type of position in this world. But all these demons do is set these people up for failure. You know, to me, it's, 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 it's sad. Okay? I was gonna say it's funny, but it's really not. These people that always have to put their mouth on people like me and people like you are suffering. They're not happy. They pretend to be. They pretend to be these good guys or these good gals. 
they 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 allow these demons to operate them so long as they can continue to keep feeding off of chosen ones or real light workers, real star seeds, real real people with real gifts. But the moment you cut that off, then they then the demons jump out of them, and then these people realize all the havoc and all the bullshit that they started. And so now they're walking around starving like zombies looking for brains, except these are empty vessels looking for love and light to fill them back up to feed these demons that are just waiting for them to get in contact with somebody else before the energy siphoning can begin. Then the demon jumps right back in them and then they start sucking the life out of you, you and everybody else around them again. See, these people don't understand that they're being operated by something other than. They're not operating in God or love or Christ consciousness. They're not. They're not vibrating that high. They pretend to do it. They look like us, but they're not us. That's facts. Okay? I think it's, you know, there's a lot of things that I know that I have not discussed on this channel. Because the moment that I open up my mouth to talk about certain things, it gives it gives the enemy and the people that the enemy is using, these NPCs, these bots, these empty vessels, these demonic energies, these incubus, succubus energies, these energy vampires, these fakers, these false friends, these false family members, these false lovers. The moment that I open up my mouth to immediately call them out on their bullshit, that opens up the doorway for them to come back in and, and, and have some type of exchange. And they're not going to have it. No, nope, they don't have it. Because my real psychic abilities, my real clairvoyant abilities, my real discernment, my real intuition tells me that's what they're waiting on. Okay? These energies study their asses off day in and day out they they read i'm telling you they read books a ton of books how many of you all had to read a lot of books to get the knowledge that the the, the the esoteric knowledge or the divine knowledge that you have not many of them nope and if you do pick up a book and read it you're not you're not really learning anything it's just confirming what you've already felt i'm not saying that we know everything and that we can't learn anything from a book so let's not take it there jerk what i'm telling you is that most of us if you're anything like me already have these downloads that come through from the divine and we always get confirmation or we get some more deeper clarification on what we already know what's already been downloaded into our system these people don't have that and the reason why they don't have that is because they don't know how to love okay it's like giving it's like giving a five-year-old a loaded gun they're not ready for it they're not responsible enough for it they don't know the true ramifications of what will happen if they fire that gun and it hits somebody they're childish. These people are immature. They're infantile. They are spiritually immature. They've not grown. Because you read books doesn't mean a damn thing. How do you process that? What are you doing with what you've learned? They're not built for it. Most people are not built for it. That is a fact. And I used to be one of those guys that would sit around and go, oh, that doesn't seem right, Dwayne. Everybody has a chance to do this. No, the fuck they don't. And if they and if they do have the chance, they don't take it. They ruin the chance by immediately going into a very negative, low vibrational state. And then they operate on that level. And the only real reason why people that operate in that level want to come up to our level is because they see some type of financial benefit from doing so. Outside of that, they don't give a fuck. They're they're more than ready and willing to knock any of us down from any place that we are in our lives. That's why they fight so hard to keep us binded to who we used to be in the past. Because these are the people that are stuck in the past. They, the, the more you stay stuck in the past, the more that they can pass you up. But they're still behind anyways. Okay? That's what's happening now. All these people's past are catching up to them. Because they never resolved anything. These people never really healed. These people don't know anything about love. All they know is energy siphoning. All they know is to be energetic vampires. All they know is to steal people's talents and gifts and content. To walk in the likeness of true divine beings. That's all they know. And that's why all these people, like these celebrities, these, these politicians, these people in your family and circle and friend groups, that's why they're all experiencing the karma that they are experiencing because they are all fake and phony people that had to learn how to be humans. We just know that's the way we're supposed to be. We understand the concept of being in this world, not of this world. These people are truly in this world because they're demonic. OK, they're heavily demonic. No matter how nice some of these people come across and want to smile and say hi or I'm your friend. I'm your soul tribe family. I'm here to help you. No, the fuck. No, they're really not. OK. I have been, it has truly been on my mind and I'm so grateful that I keep getting this 
download or I keep getting reminded that we don't need all these motherfuckers to ascend. We really don't. We don't need all we don't need everybody on the face of this planet to ascend to raise the vibration on this planet. We really don't. And I thank God, because if we needed everybody, we would never make it. That's why certain ones of us, if you want to call yourself chosen, light worker, star seed, whatever the case may be, it is now time for us to figure out who we are in our place in this in this collective effort to vibe to raise the vibration on this planet. Because I'm telling you now, these motherfuckers, they don't care. If the vibration is raised, then they can't have access to any of the shit that they've had access to because we're going to we're going to leave them. They're going to be vibrationally stuck here on this planet and it's going to show in, in, in their finances, in their professional growth, in their love lives, their, their mental state. You, you see where I'm coming from with this? There will be a clear divide and separation and they know it. They know once this divide and separation occurs that they're stuck. They're not going to be able to ascend because they've already made their choice. This is an art of war reading. I'll be right back. OK, 20, 21, 21 on the fucking clock. All right. Make sure you make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment down below, comment in the chat. I was on my way to bed and I got the God bumps. And then, I, you know, and, and to be honest with you, I am just. Uh, I'm just, you know, I'd be irritated, <laughs> but I find, but you know, I, I find I, irritation. It's fine. It's fine to be irritated. It's fine to be angry. It's fine to be upset. It's fine to be sad. It's fine to experience low vibrational feelings, but just don't stay there. Understand why you're feeling the way that you feel. Think about why you, how you don't want to ever feel that way again, but also be mature enough to understand that we all don't walk around all the motherfucking time in a good mood. Okay. A lot of, a lot of fake ass spiritualists to tell you that shit too. Okay. Look what I found today though. You guys, I mean, these signs and synchronicities that have been coming in, I don't understand what this is about, though. But look what else I found. Y'all know I found Scuba Dave a few weeks ago. And I'm walking outside today in a totally separate part of town, and I found another Lego figure. It says uh, Lloyd. Uh, I don't know what it looks like. It looks like a dragon. It's a dragon. A dragon person? So now Scuba Dave got a homeboy. I don't know. Legos are what? We, what do you do with Legos? You build. Okay, I don't know. I found another one. Scuba Dave got a homeboy named Lloyd. Lloyd already came with a name on his uh, his shirt too, though. So, I don't know. The universe is trying to tell me something about Legos. With Legos, Legos are about building, creating, and building. Okay. Somebody's a dragon. Somebody has a dragon spirit. All right, let's get on with this. 8.38 p.m. <laughs> 1.55 on the clock, bitch. <laughs> it just hit me that quick. Tell me about this. Uh, we're we're going to be pulling energy on these snakes in the grass, okay? We're going to... Somebody in the collective energy got a snake around their ass, Okay. Who's this snake in the collective's energy? I'm sick of hearing about these fuckers, okay? <laughs> ah, you can't be friends with everybody. I can't make it up. We're just going to we're going to we're going to keep this one out. You can't be friends with everybody. I can't make it up. You can't. What did I just talk about? Okay? Now, we've had this card before, and I know that I said that I wasn't going to be pulling from the same cards, but this is very appropriate, okay? I don't need to, need to read it. I'm just going to... Friends do what they do because they are our friends and we love them. They do it because they know it is the right thing to do. But while some people can be our friends, others cannot. The difference is that friends can be inconvenient, annoying, troublesome, expensive, and taxing, but we will forgive them, okay? But they will also forgive you as well. And a, and a good friend won't constantly be those things, Okay, I'm going to admit in my life, I probably was a friend to a lot of people that was inconvenient, annoying, troublesome and expensive. Okay, we've I, 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 I have a past. I had to grow from certain things as well. You know what I'm saying? But we move on from that and see a lot of people that are not our friends always want to remind us of those things. 
everybody makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes, but the mistakes are meant for us to learn and grow and not to make again. You feel me? But, the, but, but these low vibrational energies, okay, these fucking energy vampires, these fake ass friends will be exactly, they'll, they'll, they'll pop their head right around the corner and go, remember who you used to be? They'll tell everybody, back in the day, this motherfucker used to be a hoe. That bitch used drugs. He ain't sober. He's still getting high. He's faking it. Blah, 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 blah. High vibrational people don't worry that much about other motherfucking people. And again, like I like to say, if you're truly high vibrational and you know somebody that well to where you want to speak on what they got going on in their life, and if what comes out of your mouth is something that is very low vibrational and karmic that this person is supposedly doing, then your job as a light worker is to pray for them and move the fuck on or see how you can intervene and possibly help a person instead of slandering them and talking about them. That's how you can tell a real bitch from a fake bitch, okay? And a real nigga from a fake nigga. Apply the roses they fit. Message. Okay. How many cards are we going to get out here? Hmm. Spirit said get four. Can I get four cards, please? We got Maryland out here. It didn't hit the table, though. So let's put it back in there. They got to hit the table. Spirit said they got to hit the table. New Hampshire. Iowa. Kentucky. One more. Idaho. Okay. We got New Hampshire, Kentucky, Iowa, and Idaho. You the hoe. <laughs> Remember that joke? Something about Puerto Rico. Something about Puerto Rico. It's in the upright. Something about Puerto Rico. Something about Puerto Rico. We're going to keep it out. Tell me about, Spirit, tell me about... The snake or snakes in the grass here. Tell me about these snakes in the grass. Okay. At some point, I'm going to get one of those things where um, it holds the microphone up off the desk. So I thought about getting one, but I, I don't like always ordering stuff from Amazon because then you get it and it's like, I got to send it back. And if you're anything like me, I don't really like sending stuff back. It takes, seems like it, it's, it's a lot. It takes more effort to send things back than it does to just do the one click ordering. You feel me? All right, let's see. Somebody's very miserable. <laughs> Somebody's a cancer. Somebody got some badass kids, okay? Somebody's about to fall in love. Somebody's very miserable. Somebody got some. Somebody's kids are bad. Somebody's a cancer. Okay. Somebody's about to fall in love. Somebody's just been caught up. Somebody's never graduated from college. One more. Three more. All right. Somebody's a fucking snitch. Somebody's telling a bold face lie. Okay. Was that two or one? Somebody's a divine feminine. Somebody's a divine masculine. Okay. Somebody is also doing magic on you or Google magic is what I just heard. Somebody, somebody's manipulating something here. This snake in the grass. So let's, let's see what we got going on here. Somebody's very miserable. Somebody's kids are bad than a motherfucker. Okay. So when it comes to somebody's about to fall in love. I feel like somebody knows because we got divine masculine and divine feminine coming up, you know, right behind each other like that. I feel like somebody just got caught up. Somebody's a snitch. Somebody's a cancer. Somebody's telling a bold faced lie. So let's just say that this person is, knows that somebody's either in love with you or is about to fall or you falling in love. Somebody's there's a relationship budding here is what I'm telling you here. OK.
There was no, but let's just go with the tarot. We got the seven of pentacles out here to the ten of pentacles. This could mean a couple of different things. Let's get one more out. Because what this could mean is that somebody's planning on uh, blocking a windfall of money or stealing a windfall of money. Or this could mean that this is somebody from your toxic ass family who is, who's got a plan. We do have snakes in the grass. So somebody has a plan. Uh, let's see. Seven of pentacles. Somebody has made some plans. Or somebody's pocket watching. It could be somebody's pocket watching, but the Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse. Clarify. Seven of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, somebody's looking to stop a windfall of money or an opportunity for you here. Okay, and they're and this and 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 they're they're either doing a lot of talking or they're about to rush in. But I feel like this is this is them talking. The Eight of Wands represents fast moving action, communication. So that you don't so that so that you don't reach a very nine of pentacles energy. So somebody's definitely trying to block some type, stop some type of financial opportunity, but that would be more like the ace of pentacles. Somebody's trying to stop some type of something for you here. Because this ten of pentacles could represent your family. Yeah, somebody's definitely you could be a cancer. King King of Cups represents cancer energy, but you could be somebody very emotionally stable. You could be somebody very nice and kind and caring, somebody very intuitive as well. But somebody that's very emotionally balanced. This is somebody in the upright. You could be male or female. Does you know take in your Renee? I just heard this person is a cancer. This snake in the grass is a cancer. Okay, ten of wands here. Clarify the ten of wands. Clarify the Ten of Wands, please. Seven of Cups. One more. Yeah, untold story in the reverse. Somebody's about to come and unload something here for you. They're hoping for a victory, but they're going to be lying here. What is this? The, the King of Swords? This is a narc. Narc alert. Okay. This person's going to come in and they're going to tell you some things. They're going to unload. They're going to tell you a whole lot of things. Things that you didn't know. With hopes to gain some type of victory. But they're going to be lying. Or they could be telling the truth, but they're only coming in as a narcissist. They're only coming in to manipulate they're coming in to play mind games with you but the king of swords is somebody that's extremely narcissistic okay this is a fucking narc okay this person is going to come in and tell you something how does this what does this have to do with them blocking this windfall of money here because they've been planning this for a minute to stop this windfall of money they're rushing towards you as well i feel like somebody's going to come towards you with the nine of pentacles in the reverse i feel like somebody's going to come and come rushing towards you to say I can I can help you out with that so that you can drop these burdens, okay? With the ten of wands in the reverse, nine of pentacles. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna tell you some things. They're gonna tell you some things that you didn't know, okay? Somebody's a snitch. This person could be coming to tell you about some things, okay? So obviously you are got some things going on here, but remember that this person is very miserable with some badass kids, okay? This person has never graduated from college as well. Uh, this is a cancer male here. I say cancer male, didn't I? Yeah. Somebody, uh, yeah, this person's just been caught up. Okay. What is this person coming to tell the collective? Because this is what they're going to use. to. This is part of their plan. Okay. So what is this person going to tell the collective here? We got the world in the reverse. King of Cups. This person's going to come and tell you that they really love you. This person is going to come in and tell you that they never stopped loving you or they don't want to close out a cycle with you here. They're going to tell you that they love you again. Here goes the King of Cups in the reverse. Cancer male energy in the reverse. This person's a liar. Again, a lying ass nigga. 
This person is going to come in with a false fake love offer. This person doesn't know how to love anybody. This person is also very much emotionally imbalanced. Now, with this King of Cups in the reverse, what I always, you know, hear when I see the King of Cups in the reverse is a fucking crybaby. This is somebody that's woe is me, woe is me, is always crying about something, okay? That's what I heard. This person is going to come pour their heart out to you. That's what I heard. What is this? Yeah, I told you. Spirit says that's the truth. This person is going to pour it, lay it on thick. They're going to offer you a, a Ace of Cups love offer. But they're going to be lying, though. Listen, this person is a part of some type of uh, coven or secret society. They are. Mm hmm. Or this person is a hierophant in the reverse. Confirmation. So this person is a is a low vibrational, is a dark spiritual leader or practitioner or just somebody who, who dibbles and dabbles in dark spirituality. Yeah, and you're the star here. Two, two very conflicting energies here. This person is also probably coming towards you to heal, to heal something here. And there goes the King of Swords again. This is narcissistic. What do we have here? This is somebody that's coming to drain the energy of a star. They're trying to, they're trying to drain your energy here. Okay. This person's only coming in because they are an energy vampire. I do believe that this person is a part of a coven here, a group of people. Okay. Generally speaking, when people got plans like this and it's, and it's so well executed, there's other people working with this person behind the scenes. So snakes, I did hear snakes in the grass. So there's a group of people here. This is who this group of people is going to send in towards you. Now, we got all these different states out here. So these states can be significant. We got three states, that four states that came out originally plus Puerto Rico. There's something very significant about Puerto Rico here, okay? This person's only coming in. They're going to come in with the Knight of Wands. They're going to come in with a lot of aggressive passion. And they're going to come in to try to fuck you too, okay? Don't do it, Miss Seedy. Don't trade places with where I've been. Okay, you don't want to end up at the clinic, do you? Do you? I can't make it up. Don't do it. Okay, this would be a very foolish decision for you here. But they're going to come in with this grand love offer. Okay, they're going to come in with this grand love offer. They're going to pour out their heart. They're going to tell you how they really feel. This is what they want to tell you. Okay, they're going to confess how they really feel about you. We got emperor right here. What is this emperor energy here? Clarify the emperor. Yep, high priestess at the bottom of the deck. Well, first and foremost, so this emperor card out here. This person is going to come in like they're your emperor. Or they're going to come in like, like an emperor. We've got the ace of cups here. But what you, again... I'm going to clarify this information. I'm going to clarify this right here, okay? The Ace of Cups to the Emperor, because this may be something else here. But we got the High Priestess here to the Three of Pentacles, to the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, to the Seven of Swords. There's a secret. The secret here is that him and some other people got caught stealing some money. They got caught taking something, a huge, big-ass pinnacle. Or maybe this person's coming to tell you about how they stole a big Ace of Pentacles from your ass or blocked a huge blessing from you. Yeah, I told you this person's got, they've been caught the fuck up. So this person could be coming in trying to finesse you out of this windfall of money that you have coming towards you because they already did. I don't know. Maybe this person is a snake. Maybe these are again. I don't know. But this person was is working behind the scenes to steal something from you. This person just got caught up with something. They could have got caught up stealing something from somebody or not even your ass. I don't know. But this person has been caught up. Clarify the Ace of Cups to the Emperor, please. Ohio is very significant as well. Okay? I just heard that. I, is Port, I'm telling you, Puerto Rico is where people go. Because it's near the ocean. You don't need a passport. And they can go there and flex. I feel like that's where people go to flex. Either Puerto Rico or the Bahamas. 
Okay, so these people could have all traveled to Puerto Rico at one point in time. We'll see what's going on with Puerto Rico here, okay? 8.55 p.m. Tell me about this. Yeah. This person's only coming in to keep you stagnated, to, to, to stop this will of fortune, to stop this will of fortune from coming in. I feel like this person, so this ace, this ace of cups to this emperor, okay? This, this person is trying to stop this emperor from coming in towards you as well. So not only is this person coming in to take a windfall of money, this person is just coming in to, to siphon the energy off of you, to use you. Because this person, so this ace of cups to this emperor, what this tells me is that, again, we got the divine feminine and we got the divine masculine coming out here. You have an emperor coming into your life. How does this person knows about it? I don't know. People divinate. People are nosy. Who fucking knows? People can tell, though, if you have an energetic connection to somebody still, or maybe this person even knows this person. You know, people do a lot of weird shit. But you have an emperor coming towards you to offer you an ace of cups. And this person is does not want that to happen. If you get with this emperor or you connect with this emperor, okay, to accept this love offer from this emperor, this, this king of cups, king of, uh, king of swords in the reverse knows that it's a done deal. They're not going to be able to siphon the energy off of you. Okay? You are a star. You're the star seed. You are the star energy. You're a healer. You're a divine being, okay? You are a star seed. You hold a lot of light within you. This person needs you to regenerate. Whoever this person is is probably somebody that has used you in the past. This is a past energy. You already know this person. They're going to come in and tell you how they really feel about you. They're going to tell you that they love you. They're going to tell you how they made a mistake here. What's the strength in the reverse here? Strength. We got 8-8 eight, eight out here. We got strength in the reverse to the 8 of swords to the 8 of cups. And the ball of this is in the reverse. 7 of swords. Again. This person is going to come to you and ask you. So dig this. This person is going to come towards you, uh, tell you how they really feel about you, try to whine and dine you. This person's looking at going to jail. This person's looking at going to jail. This person's afraid. With strength in the reverse, this person's afraid they don't want to go to jail. They don't know what they're going to do to avoid going to jail here because they got caught doing something. They got caught doing something here. I feel like this person, uh, let's say like, okay, say for instance that this person, let's just tell you, tell you what I'm hearing. This person has been caught with a group of people stealing something from you. And again, we had this whole conversation about narcissists before we started this. They're, this person is going to tell you any and everything to get you in a place to where, obviously, you're going to cover for them. I feel like they, they want you to cover for them. They want you to, 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 what is the three of wands? So we got the seven of swords of the three of wands. They, yeah, they want you to save them from this death by, by giving you, by, t I'm telling you here, okay? This person is trying to avoid an ending here by, give, by coming towards you to pretend like they are your twin flame, but this is a toxic Soul connection. You already know this. You feel me? So let's say, for instance, that this is somebody that you used to deal with. All right. This person stole something from you or did something that is jail worthy. But they stole something here. They're being investigated. They're scared. They're scared of going to jail. Because they're being investigated. I don't know why you wouldn't know this, but we stop asking these kind of questions, right? At least I do. Okay? You may already even know. You may know that this person has done something. I feel like there's something that you don't know, though. This person is coming in to, to, to get you to not talk to these people. I'm telling you what I'm hearing. 
This person knows a lot about what you got coming towards you. This person is only coming in to save their own ass. This person is going to come in and drain you the fuck dry all over again and walk the fuck away. So basically, what am I hearing? So let's say, for instance, that this person has taken something from you. So you may have even known that this person has stolen something from you. Maybe you haven't heard from this person. This person's coming in to say, please don't press charges. This is what really this person's going to lie to you and, and give you all kind of bullshit ass excuses. They're going to play with your head. They're going to try to get into your brain to, to, to narcissistically fuck you. OK, they're going to motherfuck you. So that you can say, I don't want to press charges, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. But it's not just this person. It's a bunch of these people. These people possibly have gotten caught up in a number of different financial crimes as well as what I just heard. You're not the only person that they stole from. They're going to, this person's going to, this person knows that you have a windfall of money coming towards you, okay? We've been hearing about this, so let's, let's, let's not be coy. So somebody in the collective, Queen of Wands, there you go. Again, Knight of Cups coming in to offer you Knight of Cups. This person could even off, ask you to marry them. This person could come in off, offering you like some type of proposal for a higher level soul commitment. It's a bullshit offer. They're coming in to love bond me, but love bomb you. This is love bombing energy, cancer energy, Pisces or cancer energy, again, water sign energy. But they're coming in with a love bombing offer. They're going to offer you some type of high level soul commitment. This person could also come in and offer you marriage. Queen of Wands. Okay. This person is just afraid to go to jail. Which is so crazy to me because if this person was so afraid to go to jail, then you know what? Why are we asking these kind of questions? This person, again, is going to be lying to you. This person is going to lie and they don't have any kind of remorse or regret about it. OK, this person doesn't want to tell you what they're what they're looking against. They already know they've been defeated. See, that's 10. That's five and five. Again, that's 10. This person already knows that they've been caught doing something to you here. Page of Cups. I'm telling you, this person's going to come in with a bullshit fishy cup offer because they know that they've already been defeated. They're going to come in and say that they don't want any type of drama. They don't want to fight, that they're sorry. They're lying, though, that they won't do it again. They're going to say that they won't stab you in the back again. They're going to say that they really feel bad about what's what, what happened between you two, but they don't mean it. OK. The Queen of Swords is also in the reverse talks about things being very unclear. This person's going to come in with a lot of they're not going to tell you everything. They're going to omit certain things, I feel like, as well. I feel like I hear this person saying, you know, can we just talk about it later? Can you just give me another chance and we can work on things as things go on? But I need you. I, I really need I'm hearing somebody say I really need to be back with you. 26, 26 on the clock. This person really needs to be back with you because they ass is about to go to jail and they hoping that you don't press charges on them. They're lying, though. If they're they're, they're going to try to bait you like with the carrot type of energy. Okay. Four, four in the clock. I feel like we're almost done here. Okay. Let me give it another shuffle here. Yeah. The nine of the, 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 the devil here to the nine of cups in the reverse. This person is extremely miserable and unhappy. This person could probably be struggling with some type of addiction. This person is in some devil energy. Okay. This person is coming in to bind you as well. But this person is very selfish. This person is very selfish. This person is very unhappy here. Okay? There is some addictions here. Okay? There's some addictions or some sexual addictions. There's some type of toxicity going on here. This is very toxic. Okay? Whew. Stop it. Because I said so. Again, they're coming in to take something from you or to block some type of blessing coming in for you because there goes the devil again. OK, you got the see what it is, is again, you are the star energy. OK, you are star ace of pentacles. You got an ace of pentacles coming towards you. This person is coming in to block something for you. This person could be very jealous. The sun in the you see the sun in the reverse up there. This person is very dark. OK, this person's very dark. This person is, is this is not the way to go. You need to avoid this person. And I don't generally tell people shit like that. You got to make up your own mind, which you still will do. But if it were me, 
I wouldn't even entertain the conversation of this bitch. I'd block him right away. I wouldn't even tell the motherfucker, don't call me no more. Don't email me no more. Get the fuck from away from my door. Now, you do have to tell somebody to get away from your door. Or you could just call the police and say, there's somebody at my door and I don't want them there. Okay? A person could be liking your post. This person could be sending you little small signs that they're trying to get back in touch with you or they're trying to fill you out. You already know the energy. You've already been through this. Kind of, we've, we've, listen, the, the year that we've all had, I feel like we've all been through enough. Okay, these energies know that they are about to meet some type of ending. They know that they're probably going to wither away without the divine energy. Okay, so this person is coming in to continue to keep blocking blessings for you because this person is probably very jealous of you, very envious of you, or just a very hateful, bitter person. You got the sun right there in the reverse as well. This person is trying to block your blessings. It's trying to keep you in the dark, trying to keep you in, uh, probably bring your ass to the dark side. And we already know what happens. If if you stand in the way of what somebody's karma is, then you got to take that on as well. This person's trying to transfer some damn karma to your ass and get out of some trouble. Final message here. What's the final message for the collective so I can get out of this energy? Okay. Keep these snakes away from you. You know what I'm saying? These, but they're narcissists, though. I could look right in the camera right now and tell everybody that has done, whether they think I know or not. See, that's the crazy part. Whether you think I know or not, listen, I'm going to show you all how this is going to go collective. So listen, this, I'm going to be very, very specific about how I say certain things. So this is a moment for the narcs in my life, okay? For the devils in my life that were in my life. No, they're not in my life anymore that were in my life. The people, the, you that I used to be connected to. If you are somebody that has done anything to me, whether I know or I don't know, stay away from me. Okay? You feel me? If I haven't spoken to you in months, then that means that you probably should not even consider getting in touch with me. Because that means that you're a narc. That means that you weren't there for me when I was going through the motions. And if you were there for me when I was going through the motions and you were trying to make it worse for me, I don't want to be around you motherfuckers. Okay? There's not even a conversation that has to be had. But I understand that you guys are narcissists. And I understand that you're going to continue to keep trying to get in touch with people or get in touch with me just so you can come right back around. Try to get more information. Try to see what my next move is. Try to see what I got going on in my life. And I don't really have much going on in my life except I'm just getting better and healthier and I'm being, I'm happy. I'm happy without you guys. Hell, I was diagnosed with bipolar and had all these different bipolar symptoms. But guess what? I don't have them anymore. I wonder the fuck why. Because I'm not around any of you motherfuckers anymore. I don't want nobody coming to tell me that you made a mistake. I already know y'all fucked up. You know you fucked up. But in some way, shape, or form, you've reconciled it in your mind that I'm going to somehow reinvite you to come do the same fucking thing to me again. And I even if even if by chance there's a slim chance that you won't do it again, I don't even want to take that chance. Time to move on. That's what everybody else did, right? Isn't that what they do, Collective? They move on from us when things, when they see a better option or when things get better for them or when we help them along the way or we're their friends to them or we're lovers to them or we're good family members and, and always there for people whenever they call us. We're very honest with people. We'll do anything for people. And then what do they do with that? They take it for granted and they get out of the way. They move, they can move us to the side. They say horrible things about us. They lie on us. They try to get us caught up in, in legal like things with the cops and they include us in false investigations and false accusations and, 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 and try to get us locked up in jail. They want to leave us broke and destitute with nothing. They're not around for that. But the moment that they start seeing people looking better, feeling better, saying more positive things, going in the right direction in their life, what do these people decide to do? They want to circle back around because the grass wasn't greener or it didn't stay green very long. Or maybe they are somewhere where the grass is green, but now they see your grass is new and greener. And now they want to come the fuck back around to piss all over your grass and make it suck the life out of you so that your grass turns gr uh, brown in a matter of weeks. I don't think so. But because I know you guys are narcs, I know that you're going to try and you will be blocked at every single attempt. No conversation is going to be even needed. I'm not speaking to you bitches. Okay. And because I gave you that brief intermission right there, uh, I'm just going to ask the universe right now. I'm just going to recall all of my energy back from everything I just said to these karmic energies. It doesn't belong to them. That's it. That's all. 
You feel me? Final message for whoever this is. Yeah, well, whoever you are, they're going to come towards you. They're going to come towards you still. They've already made up their mind. Two of swords. What's the advice for the collective? They're still going to come towards you. Passionately and aggressively. Okay. Yeah. You're balanced. Put it into it. You're done. Okay. You're done. You are already done. This is what's going to happen to you if this person comes your way. You are the earth angel. You're very balanced. You're healthy. Okay? This person's going to come along and this is what they're going to do. Ten of swords your ass. And it's going to be a big fucking failure for you. Okay? Six of wands in the reverse. That's what's going to happen if you allow this person. If you allow this person into your energy. One last card. Spirit says that's the fucking truth. Keep these snakes away from you, whoever you are out there. And, 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 and you know, I, and I want to just say this again. Being that we are all in the collective energy, a lot of us have the same story. A lot of us have the same kind of story, the same experiences. Because we have been on this journey uh, with each other together. Not just on this channel. But on other channels, there's a collective shift going on. There's a lot of us out there that are in the same energy. We're done with the past. We're moving forward. So everybody in the collective energy right now is going to have these negative, low vibrational energies from the past trying to sink their teeth right back into your neck to drain the fucking life out of you because they're energy vampires. They can't let you get away that easy. If I were any of you guys, I'd do some cord cuttings, meditations. You know, do what you got to do to protect yourself because these people don't care about protecting you. These people are only care. All they care about is draining the life out of you so that they can be more like you or they can or they can take your energy to somebody else. So somebody else can be more like you because they don't have anything in them. They're empty. They've already give offered up them, their souls to the devil. They've already done that. OK, these people are not straddling the line. These are not people because back in the day, what would we do for people? We saw somebody straddling the line between going to the dark side or going towards the light. And so what would we do? We try to encourage people. We try to talk to people. We try to help people heal. We try to just love on people to get them to see that there are other things in this world besides the darkness. OK, and then what happened is that these people appeared to be healed. And then once they were healed, they walked away from us, but they weren't really healed. It was just a temporary fix. And then so when, when they walked away from us, what did we have to do? We had to regenerate our energy. We had to regenerate who we are. We had to learn how to love ourselves again because at that point we had been drained. We were almost bankrupt. We almost didn't have the light inside of us. They literally left us, a lot of us for dead. Okay? So these people are going to come back around hurt, injured. They're going to tell you that, you know, they, they really just want to be in, in your presence again. They want to be friends again. They want to be family again. These people are, cannot be healed, not by you anyway. These people have already made up their mind that they, they, already get, they already went to the dark side. Think about everything that they've done to you and everybody else, okay? These people are not going to be serious about any fucking thing that they say when they come back in your energy, if you let them even get that far. These people have already sold their souls. They already owe him downstairs. And they don't have anything to give him downstairs or these deities that they've been speaking to, offering people up left and right. These deities that have been giving them this, 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 I don't, I don't even want to say divine, divine authority. But these deities that grant, granted them very, very, these deities that granted them a very temporary success in life. You have to keep feeding these deities, otherwise then they don't do anything for you. But there is an exchange before before they come and offer you up. They already offered themselves up because they just have this idea in their mind because they're narcissists that they're always going to be able to pull the energy from light workers, from star seeds, from divine beings. They always have it in their mind that they're always going to have access to divine beings to pull the energy and siphon the energy from. But we're waking up and we realize we ain't got to deal with these motherfuckers. Physically, electronically. Spiritually, we don't have to deal with them. We make up our minds. We have spiritual authority over who we are, our vessels, our being, our minds, our heart, our love. I'm, I'm telling you now, 
I would. Nope, I'm not even going to say that. What I am going to say is this. Do not go back to this person. This is this is good uncle advice. Leave this motherfucker in the cold. Okay? I could see some of these people literally on fire walking past them on the street. I'm not going to spit on them. I'm not going to piss on them. I, I, I might I would call the I would call the ambulance uh, the, the fire department go there's somebody on fire but I'm gonna keep walking you feel me the 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 great the listen I was I, I know a few months ago I had said that that I don't really like to be div to divisive I don't like to be divisive but the div but the divide is already there. When I said that I was talking about being divisive with other high, uh, you know, highly spiritual beings or high, divine beings, star seeds, other people that would that that with the same goal in mind, but maybe with different beliefs or different religious beliefs or spiritual beliefs or just different period, but we all have it in our mind that we know what we have to do. I don't want there shouldn't be any division there. You feel me? But because the great divide has already occurred with the great awakening, that's when it started. That's when the shift began. And a lot of these people really kind of betted on us, betted on the fact that we were not going to awaken when this occurred. That's why they were doing all this traumatic shit to us to keep us trapped in our brains, to keep us inside of the house, to, be, to keep us afraid from being able, wanting to speak to people or go out into the world. They, didn't, they were trying to trap us within ourselves so that we never had these awakenings because they already knew what was going to happen, whether they uh, knew that cognitively or they were just intuitively led to go to be this. It was already in them. It was already in these people. I thought about it the other day, and then I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you guys go here. Don't go back to this person. <clears throat> there are a lot of people around you and a lot of people around me that harbor uh, jealousy, envy, hatred, disdain for us, and they don't even understand it. They don't even know it. They don't even acknowledge it in their spirit. They don't like who you are. They, they are jealous of who you are. They want to take you out. They want to take you not. They, it, a lot of these people in their spirit would much rather you get out of their way because your light irritates their demons or there are things about you that they don't possess. And that creates a huge amount of envy and jealousy within them. But this is in their spirit. And so you get a lot of people around you that are very nice to you, that are very sweet to you. You know what I'm saying? Very accommodating, seem very nice because they don't even acknowledge because they're not they don't have a connection to their higher self. They don't have a connection to their spirit. So they don't even know what's in their spirit. But then when they take their ass to sleep, their spirit is listen. They don't have any control over what they do in the astro, in the 5D. So what happens in the spirit? They're attacking you spiritually and then they get up the next day. They don't even understand what they did because they don't have any authority over their spirit because they refuse to do the work. These people have no control over their spirit. That's how come they don't even realize that they're even jealous of you or they hate you. They don't understand any of that. But you can see that. That's why people come across very unassuming, like they're very nice people or whatnot. But no, you know better. There's something inside of you that says, I don't know about that person, but they seem so nice. Yeah, they seem very nice because they don't even understand what's going on because they don't have a connection to their spirit. A lot of people just don't. They pretend like they do. OK, but in the, the moment that you come into contact with these people and they get some of that good divine energy, that good divine light. Yeah. Then that's then, and that's what triggers them in their spirit and goes, they their spirits like, yep, this is what we're here for. That's when it happens. Then that's when they realize how much they hate you. But then they know the mission. Now they got to continue to keep being nice while they drain the fuck out of you and get you out of the way. Don't let it happen to you, Miss Seeley. Don't trade places with where we done been in the past. You feel me? OK. Woof. I was going to scream, but I'm not going to do it. 9, 1, 9 p.m. That's it. I'm out of here. I'm your Uncle 7, 9, the Spiritual Savage. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. Have a wonderful night. I was always loving lighter on this bitch. As always, take it easy. I love you to the moon and back. Deuces. Savage.